In this video, we're going to take a look at Auto Importer from Playout 1, which is going to greatly improve the speed at which you can automatically import audio items. This could be new songs to the system, updating a news bulletin, importing a new batch of production, whatever it is, generally Auto Importer is going to save you a ton of time. Now to fire up Auto Importer, we're going to double click on this icon here. If it's already running, you can use the icon at the bottom and this is what you will see. We're going to add a job because every audio import needs a job. And to do that, we're going to click on the new button at the very top just here. When this opens up, we're going to give the import a name. So this name I'm going to choose right now is for some new songs I'm going to import. So I'm just going to type this out now. The next option I'm going to choose is the import method. And for this um, import, I'm going to choose new UID, which means as something imports, it's going to be auto assigned the next UID in the database. Next, it's the import folder. So this is telling auto importer to import from a specific folder. So I'm going to go and create a new folder in my playout one drive. And then we have an import drive in here. And then I'm going to right click, create a new folder and create the folder where I'm going to drop all my content in that I would like to be imported. These are new songs, so I'm just gonna call it new songs to import. Once that's set, uh, we're then going to go to the cart details tab where most of the options are gonna be fine, but there's one option you are probably going to want to tick and that's the set extra box. That's gonna add an extra mark at the end of your imported piece of audio so you don't get all that horrible silence at the end. Once that's done, the final thing we just need to do is go to the Overrides tab. And the reason we need to go to the Overrides tab is because we need to set a type. Everything importing into Playout 1 needs a type. So these are songs, so I'm going to choose songs. Once done, I can hit save, and then you'll see the import new ID for new songs job in Auto Importer right here. Now let's go and find uh, some songs to import. So here's my downloads folder. I've downloaded some songs I want to import into the system. And for this test, I'm just going to choose Lizzo's To Be Loved, but I could highlight all these songs and bring them in. But for this test, I'm just going to choose copy and I'm then going to paste them into my import folder that I created. So here we go. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose paste. And now the magic happens. So if we go have a look at Auto Importer, what's going to happen is every 10 to 20 seconds, Auto Importer checks for new files in the folder. And when it finds one, it will light up green. There we go. And it's now going to import Lizzo to be loved into our Playout 1 database. Now, because we chose new UID, whatever is the next UID that is available will be assigned to Lizzo. Now, as this is going through, it's normalizing the file. It's looking for any metadata that's in the file and using that. And it's adding that all important extra at the end of the file. There we go. It's imported. I can see it's gone into UID 1. And if we open up Playout 1 just to verify, there is Lizzo to be loved. Had some metadata in it, so that's imported. And you can see if I open this up in the media editor here, that lovely red extra line is at the end of the file. Now, let's say uh, we want to overwrite an existing file or we want to import a piece of content into an existing or a specific UID that we specify. So we're going to come into this job. We're going to change the job now from new UID to specific UID. And we're going to click save. Now I'm going to go back to my list of songs to import, but this could be anything. This could be a news bulletin. This could be a piece of production. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify that this Lady Gaga song is to go on UID 2. So I'm going to name it simply 2 as the file name. This could be anything, it could be 999, it could be uh, news123, whatever the file name is called, because we've now said this import job is a specific UID import job, it's going to use the file name as the UID cart number. So to verify that, here we go. It's now importing 2.wav. It's running through its uh, normalization. It's using all of the parameters that we specified earlier. And as soon as Auto Importer has imported the file, we should find that it's imported this Lady Gaga song onto UID number two. It's just finishing off now. And it's done. So I open up Playout 1 and there it is. UID number two, 
Bloody Mary, Lady Gaga. So that's how you use Auto Importer to speed up your audio imports. And if you would like to use Auto Importer in conjunction with File Copy to download syndicated programming or to download files from Dropbox, FTP, Internet, please see our File Copy videos.